Thank Your you. birthday was Sunday. It was. Belated happy birthday. Thank you, Paul. Uh, but Saturday afternoon you were trending. Everyone was <laughs> news file, you were trending. What's yeah. happening? Bios this, bios that, green book this, <laughs> green book that. What happened on news file? Well, it's an interesting country, but, but I, I was guest on news file, mm -hmm. uh, like, you, like you know, uh, to discuss uh, our uh, story as far as infrastructure is concerned. I went to that program clearly convinced that I had to point out the massive and truly unprecedented achievements uh, of the NPP uh, with respect to infrastructure because that's what I was invited to interrogate. Mm -hmm. And I had to do that because for me principally the NDC had announced that they were going to do what they did yesterday. And so I thought that, that was a fine opportunity for me to uh, preempt what they, what they were going to do and to tell... Oh, on your screen now is a news file. So you are the one in what? Uh, I, I'm here in the green. Uh, in the green on the left of the screen. Correct. And uh, your colleague of Osukwachi is on the right of the screen. Correct. Something is in the middle. Yes. So what were you? What book were you opening? The green book. I suppose yes. That's the green book. Ah. But I didn't bring that book into the studio. But but you well, like I was okay, like yeah. I was like I was explaining. I went there to tell the MPP story, mm -hmm. which is that generally we had achieved 78 percent of our manifesto promises generally, mm -hmm. but with specific reference to infrastructure. We also have achieved, coincidentally, 78% of our manifesto promises. Mm -hmm. And I was going to talk about the uh, in, uh, infrastructure revolution that was happening, for instance, in the real uh, way sector. Mm -hmm. You know that the uh, Tema and Paka dying leading on to Paga Railway has commenced. You know that the Accra uh, Tema uh, single, uh, narrow, the narrow gauge line had been reopened again uh, in 2018. Uh, you know that the Accra in Sawam Road line had also reopened. And then the Takradi Takwa uh, gauge line too has also reopened. And this one shut down in 2007 and it just opened on, in February 2020. Mm -hmm. I was going to talk about what was happening in the road sector, the interchange at the motorway, the interchange at Obechebi, the interchange uh, Upokuasi. So what happened? The, Why couldn't so, you say so it? So we were, that, no, that, that's what I said to do and that's what we were actually doing. Mm -hmm until uh, something invited uh, us to discuss the Green Book of the NDC mm -hmm. and invited me to identify some of the phantom projects. But I thought that it was rather simplistic and was pointless because we had had that engagement elsewhere mm -hmm. with an NDC, NPP. I will say this is a phantom project, it doesn't exist. He will say no, it does. It will be a banter which for me will, will take away from the objective that I had set for myself to... So you to couldn't answer the question? No, you so, identified so, the phantom No, project. no. I had. I actually identified several uh, phantom projects in the book, even on the set. Mm -hmm. But like I predicted, my colleague on the other side would not accept. For instance, if you take page 68 of the Green Book, I pointed it out that they had said, they had put a picture that that was the Adan Sea Defense Project. Mm -hmm. That picture is not from Adan. That picture was taken in Anglogan, in a village in Angloga, which I visited actually myself. Yes, there's some work that was done. They dumped uh, some uh, gravel in Adan. So, so that's a typo or something? It's not a typo. It's deliberate deception. Because what is in Adan actually, they know is unbefitting of sea defense. And so they couldn't put the Adan picture there. So they deliberately, willing, knowingly, went to take the sea defense picture in, Ad in, in Angloga and and presented it to the people of Ghana as sea defense in, in yeah. Adan. Mm -hmm. But my colleague from the other side will not take it. In fact, I also pointed out some artistic impression of the Atuabo free port that was supposed to have happened. And I questioned it that the Green Book was supposed to advertise your achievements. And so I was at a loss as to why you would use an uh, artistic impression to talk about your achievements. Uh, if you were talking about the manifesto or maybe uh, a, a, a book advertising your intent and you brought artistic impressions I can understand but the green book is supposed to advertise uh, your uh, achievements and so not you don't have to give us artistic impressions they won't take that one too and so I thought that well this is not what I I, I came I, th I, I again I thought it was pointless but you see then our colleagues in the NDC uh, went on the social media you're right uh, but I'm not worried because uh, Paul you know that so Today, if I say give me one phantom project in the Green Book, can you give me one? There are several. In addition to what I just gave you, mm -hmm. if you open to the NDC Green Book, 
say page 191, you will find that they identify a project there as a dormitory block in Goso SHS, page 191 of the Green mm -hmm. Book. In the first place, there's no such institution as Goso SHS. What we have is actually the Ahafuman Secondary School. It is in Goso, all right, but that's the proper rendition of the institution, the name of the institution. Now, what fraudulently again happened was that they took the picture of the municipal health directorate of the Hafuano South uh, uh, the district and represented it as a dormitory block in the, their so called oh. Goso. Really? And, I mean, it's there, page 191. Again, if you visit page, uh, I believe, 144, you notice that they represent a dam, Nobeko Dam, as an achievement of the NDC. Paul, I brought to this this morning, I got a copy of, this is a letter of acceptance that was signed November 1, 2005. Mm -hmm. This is the company, the construction company, is signed by the company's chief executive, mm -hmm. accepting the contract that was awarded in November of 2005 for the construction of that dam. That dam had been constructed long ago. Our colleagues in the NDC represented 2005 it. 2005 is the Yes, but they represented it in their Green Book of 2016 as an NDC achievement. Well, but did they complete it? In they did day? not. Maybe, they, maybe the, it was awarded, but they came to complete no, it. No, that's, that's not even correct. That's not even correct. They didn't even complete it. In fact, my checks today indicate that the, the dam is actually also not completed. As we speak, the dam still has some work to do. So, so you could not have cited, you didn't start it, you didn't complete it. Mm -hmm. So there was no basis for you to cite it in your, in your Green Book as an achievement. But I'm saying to you that, Paul, for me, the Green Book is in the past. The people of Ghana passed a verdict on the Green Book in 2016. They rejected it. So for me, uh, I had precious time to do my job as deputy minister to tell our success story and to look into the future. I was prepared to engage in a discussion to the effect that, look, we have shown competence that we can build an economy and building infrastructure, investing in human and social capital like we have done with free SHS and all of that, are all a function of how well you are able to manage the economy. And so we are doing that. And I needed to do that because on Monday, we, they had advertised that they were going to do something that I knew the NDC was not going to be fair at. But then they went on social media, but I'm not worried because, like I said to you, Paul, today some political parties across the globe are operating what they call the trolling farms, the troll farms. Recently, the CNN came, they did a documentary in Ghana, they identified some troll farms here in Ghana. What's that? What's troll farms? Oh, they are, they are uh, internet mercenary groups that are put together. Ah, I see what you mean. Okay, so they push all that on the, on the social media. Yeah, yeah, they have a group. And it looks like it is carrying majority opinion. Absolutely. When these in are, fact it's not. No, no, no. So you think that you acquitted yourself well on news farm? I did. I, I, I have an audience I was speaking to. And so... Were you I, overwhelmed by uh, the Honorable Felix Opus? No, no, I've engaged Felix several. I've engaged Honorable Okujatua Blackwa. I've engaged almost everybody in the NDC. I mean, <laughs> that's not the first time. Felix and I have had uh, several encounters. Overwhelmed? Why would I be? I, I just thought that in the first place, I didn't want to uh, dwell on the past. If the NDC wants to remain in the past, they still cannot find the message. They still cannot find a running mate. If they want to deal in the past <laughs> and all that, that's their problem. They I can't wanted find to a be. Message, they can't find a running mate. Well, somebody told me that they are, the NDC's running mate is running away from the NDC, and so I wanted to focus on the present and to focus into the future. I, I think the point you made is that which is which is which strikes me is that the Green Book. A verdict was passed on the Green Book in 2016. Yes. And it was a damning verdict. Yes. So there's no point discussing it. Absolutely. For me, it was, it was, it was pointless. But if you are commissioning the motorway, which was started by President Mahama and completed by President Akufuado, NDC can surely say that this is our vision. Well, to represent that, hmm. a vision which you had not implemented, which you had not completed, they to represent started. that. No, as for starting, we started in which manner? They will talk about conception. Look, things were conceived in the days of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah that have not seen the light of day. Yeah. There are things that we conceived when we were in power under J.E. Kufour that the NDC uh, uh, continued, did not even complete, but they are taking care of it for it. The War Hospital, for instance. Mm -hmm. Kufour started it's part of the Eurojet project. The NDC continued. They didn't finish. We finished it. But they are saying that it's, we should give them all the credit. For me, it is only those uh, who, within their time in government, didn't do too much. 
that will be hungry and asking for uh, credit here and there. And, and so after all, government is a continuum. You come, you may start something, your colleague comes, he finishes it and builds on. The people of Ghana are seeing what is happening. And for me, the thing about these projects that is so-called started or done, for me, maybe we should get into, if we want to even discuss NDC projects, we should be discussing value for money and so on and so forth. What value are we getting at what cost for the uh, interchange in Tema? What value and at what cost are we getting for Pukwasi and so on and so forth? We can get into those details. And the people of Ghana would notice... You mean how much it costs NDC to build Kwame Nkrumah Circle Interchange? No. And well, how much is costing MPP to do the Tema, tema if, Motorway Interchange? If you know, the, 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 the cost, we have done some variations both in design and in cost. Mm -hmm. We have brought down the cost. We have improved on the quality of infrastructure. So we are oh, we are delivering we are delivering that's impressive. No, that's yes. We are delivering we are delivering more value for less. We are delivering more value for less cost. And so if I wanted to engage in a discussion on the green book, those are the areas. The, those are the critical areas I want to want to focus on. Not on these uh, simplistic uh, argument of points to me. Which one, uh, Paul? After a, a, a party has been in power for four years, eight years collected our taxes, borrowed monies in our names, accepted loans and grants in our names, you, we, you thought that we expected that they were not going to build one or two isolated projects. Isolated? They, absolutely. If you talk, they will talk about you, uh, University of Ghana, they will talk about uh, a, a terminal in uh, Kotokai Airport, they will talk about uh, a, a, a flyover, they will talk about the rehabilitation of, 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 of Ridge. Finished. That's it? These are the, uh, the isolated projects. Isolated? Yes, yes. For okay. four years, eight Our viewers will decide whether it's isolated. Let's get, let's get to COVID now. Uh, I'm happy that you, you left the news file, not as it was reported on Facebook, that you left on a stretcher and uh, you are heading for Ridge Hospital and you are heading for the University of Ghana Hospital and etc. etc. Okay, COVID. Occupy Ghana say that government is massaging figures of people who may have passed on to eternity. How many people have passed on to eternity? Well, at the moment, 58, uh, unfortunately, and our condolences that's a, that's to, their, being challenged. To, their, to their families. People and, think and, it's more than that. And I, I will explain. Even this evening, yeah. I got on the phone to arrange an engagement with the Occupy Ghana. Uh, we want the Ghana Health Service to engage with the Occupy Ghana to explain uh, the way uh, these things work. There is a, uh, an audit and val validation system that happens. When death is reported, it goes through... A structure and uh, Paul, for clarity, people may understand it's like uh, collating and declaring results. Yeah, I've always the, said that for yes. election results. The results is the same. So, mm -hmm. at the polling station, uh, you are on the ground, you hear that okay, at this polling station, uh, this is the vote, mm -hmm. but it has to be officially validated and declared at a certain level. That takes some time. There's a process to the extent that uh, the case management teams in Accra sometimes have to get on video calls with regional directors and district directors and with doctors, case managers, doctors in the field, on the hospital, to have engagements. When was the person uh, admitted, go through the treatment protocols and all that before they come to uh, a final determination and therefore an announcement. But I think that uh, tomorrow's engagement will clarify... What's happening uh, tomorrow? There will be an engagement between the Ghana Health Service and... Uh, the tax force managing the case management team and then the Occupy Ghana so they can they can take the Occupy okay, Ghana. So the point you're making is that when government comes and says 58 and I happen to know somebody who died in Laboni who has not been counted and I my friend in Kumasi calls me and happens to know two other people who have not been counted. It's not that government is deceiving us. No. But it has to go through a process. Correct. Even if you're my friend as Deputy Minister and I tell you that Mr. X, whom we know has died in Laboni, you can't add that to your press conference. No, I cannot. It has to go through the process. Absolutely. And all the verifications done, it comes to the Ghana Health Service before an announcement can Correct. be made. That's how it's done. Okay, yes. so election results, for instance, we know that uh, Kukran Tumi have reported that uh, MPP have lost or MP NDC have lost. The people in Kukran Tumi know. But the Electoral Commission cannot confirm that Correct. unless the Eastern Region has reported it to Correct. her that Kukran Tumi has gone to this Correct. party. Okay. Correct. So we have to have patience. We have to have patience. Those figures will come in at the end of the day. It will. It's mm. just a process. Yeah. And that's because I know the people are familiar with the election process. That's why I chose to, you, to do mm. the uh, uh, election, election process analogy so people can follow. So There's by the time the president is announcing something or the website is announcing, it is confirmed 2,000%. Yes. Correct. 
Okay. There Correct. may be another one they may be working on while the president is announcing. Announcing. But they cannot time. add it. They cannot. Unless it's going through the process. Correct. Correct. That's why we have a website that is updating it. Regularly. So if people say that at the time you said it was 58, it was actually 70. Because I know somebody in Noguchi who told me, you, you can't work with it that is, as it official. Is, it, it is possible that there are, there, are, there, are, there are devs that may not, they have not gone through the entire process yet and so they have not been announced. But it's a friend possible, of mine at Noguchi can tell I'll me. I'll tell you. But that's, that, but that, you can, but we cannot, cannot, answer, cannot, we cannot work with that. We cannot report that. Yeah. We cannot report that at that time. It will eventually be reported on, mm -hmm. but not at the time that you had, because at that time, the auditing and the validation had not been done. Same for every, all the... Stay, same for all the indices. Correct. So for recoveries, for instance, Correct. if I say that, oh, Pius, I know 10 people who have recovered. You can't take that to a press conference. Correct. In it fact, has to go through the process. In fact, I, I, I've, I've had people who have tested uh, whose results somebody I know informally may have said to me that, oh, this, large bar, this last batch of re, uh, tests, all of them uh, are, negative. Have, are negative again. But I cannot add that to my brief. Mm -hmm. It has to go through the system. Your brief comes to you from the, from the management Ghana, team. From the management team, not from the person who is working in the lab, no. But the, he may be my friend, and he can speak to me directly. But I cannot report on, on, on that brief. It has to, my prof, official brief will come from the case management team. Is that the same all over the world? As it, I, that's, I, I believe that's the standard. Yeah. That, that all over the world should, should happen. Okay, I mean, that's, that's that, an important clarification yes. because there's been a lot of bashing of government. It started with Professor Kosa said that the figures are being massaged. But what you are trying to tell is that for those who have access, if they hear something, uh, they, shouldn't, they shouldn't immediately uh, conclude that government is uh, massaging the figures. No, it's not. Because government has a process it's working with, because government is official. Where's the health minister? At the moment, uh, my brief is that the health minister is, is at home. He's been discharged. We are all aware that he's, he tested positive for COVID. Uh, he, he was seen uh, at the hospital. He was discharged. He's at home. He's not showing symptoms. He's asymptomatic. He's uh, taking his medications and he's, he's responding to treatment. All uh, his contacts have been traced and tested and uh, he's in isolation at home. He's doing you, you will be one of his contacts? No. Uh, Fortunately for me, I haven't, I haven't... But I've seen you on TV at the press briefing, yes, this you was, and him. This was uh, a couple of weeks back. When he didn't test positive? When he didn't test positive. In fact, he had announced that he had tested... You know, he had tested... This not the first time. He had mm -hmm. tested several times, and the results kept coming in negative, negative. Unfortunately, this one tested positive. And uh, so far, I have not been contacted as one of his. Uh, but you should, because you have been. You have been well, I, I, around my recollection, my recollection is that within the last few weeks, I haven't, I haven't uh, been. You haven't seen him. I haven't been. You are not running range. away from being tested. No, 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 no. no. You are happy I, to be I, tested. I, I myself have been, uh, have been tested. Before, been tested? So, so I don't mind being tested again. It's not, a, it's not a problem at all. Mm. In fact, we should encourage more and more people to test, uh, and more and more senior members of. A state are now testing and those who are even positive are on their own declaring that they are positive.